It's 6 p.m. on a peaceful and totally silent Clementi Road. No, it's not working. My movie isn't letting me recreate how it felt. Okay, so I've got the footage you took yesterday where I'm like, oh, it's so quiet right now. So it seems like it's quiet on the road like it used to be on our walks, but this is with me reducing the background noise. It's so quiet. Yeah, and there's the other strategy of the midnight footage you took sans traffic, but I need to lighten it so it looks like it's 6 p.m., 7 at the latest. Oh. All right, there you go, 6 p.m. on Clementi Road at the beginning of the circuit breaker. It's so quiet right now. Trying to recapture that time in a monologue is just crystallizing that we can't go back or won't go back. But I want to go back or at least let time stand still so we don't lose it all. I know that sounds crazy. Oh man, I sound like a total jerk, eh? And I don't mean I want to keep the virus or the unemployment or anything. I just mean that when this is all over, how do we still keep having incredible moments like we do on our walks? Like Otter Night at West Coast Park. If we hadn't been working from home, we never would have been out on a Tuesday and we never would have seen them. We would have been comatose, watching Netflix until we were too tired to work anymore. Remember how I saw them first but didn't know what they were? It was just a mess of black and sand flying everywhere. But I was excited regardless because I thought they were dogs playing in a volleyball pit. But then when we got closer and we saw the crowd of people watching them and we realized it was otters. Remember how all four of them seemed to move as one, like a slithery, bouncy, wet black blob. And they seemed to make the collective decision to move through the crowd and back down the rocks and back into the ocean, like none of them was leading. Didn't we see a hornbill that night too? And we couldn't wait to come home and tell our families what we'd seen. <sighs> Can't believe we didn't bring our phones that night. That would have made great footage for this. I don't want the great parts of the circuit breaker to be like the memory of the otters. And how sad if we have to look back at a circuit breaker as an ironically great collection of memories that we miss. Can't we keep some of the good parts? Like the walks? What, did we go on four walks in eight years before a pandemic allowed us to? Oh, by the way, look how happy I look in this Clementi video you took. I can't believe we never used to go on walks before. It's so beautiful here. And this is 15 weeks after the circuit breaker started, and most of it's still there. The wonders there, the time to ourselves, the peace. But how do we keep it when we go back to normal? Obviously, I won't have time to work out every day. No, I won't. Can't call my parents as much. That's already suffering and I'm not even fully back to work. Maybe I could manage five minutes each. But the walks. We have to keep the walks. What are we working so hard for anyway? I really just want to press pause.